Recognizing there is a reason behind challenging behavior, Edmonton Catholic Schools provides many layers of support to staff and students to maximize the learning environment and to help support all children achieve their full potential. We're noticing that a lot of the students in our school that are struggling in their academics and aren't achieving at grade level are often struggling with their behaviors in class, their ability to remain on task for particular assignments, and often their social relationships are affected. Kids can be complicated, and because we see a behavior, it doesn't always mean that it's purely behavior. There can be a huge language component to it. For example, if a child has a severe receptive language delay, that child may only be able to deal with one step instructions. So that might be something that we talk to the teacher about because classroom instructions can be quite complicated. So in order for that child to gain something from the curriculum, it's helpful for that child if the instructions are shortened. One strategic approach is the use of inclusive support teams that work to consult classroom staff and provide direct, just-in-time interventions to students as well as with families in order to make the Alberta Education Programs of Study accessible to all students. Ann Fitzgerald is supported by a multidisciplinary team. The multidisciplinary team consists of speech-language pathologists, occupational therapists, adapted physical education specialists, physical therapists, emotional behavioral specialists, and family school liaison workers. Well, we look at a child as a whole. So we look at all different aspects of their function and how they're working in the classroom. So we look at how they're um, being able to process the sensory information within the classroom themselves and if they're being overwhelmed with sensory information and how we can help the teachers to help them to learn and to develop those skills. The behavior specialist is a really important part of the team, especially when the kids are at the tip of the pyramid and have behavioral difficulties because it can be kind of like chicken and the egg. I mean, they don't have language or they don't understand language, so behaviors develop, and behaviors develop because they don't have language. So putting a really strict behavior plan into the classroom, I've seen a lot of growth with the children. In the early learning environment, pre-kindergarten through kindergarten, services are provided by an in-house team. In grade one through grade six, services are provided through a combination of site-based teams and a regional collaborative service delivery approach. In order for a child to, to be able to learn in the classroom, they have to be in a regulated state. So some of the things that we can do is to, to help the teachers and behavior specialists and other classroom staff help the children to be more regulated by including movement breaks in their day. Uh, they can use visuals. Um, they can use simple directions and just breaking down the activities into simple steps so that they're more manageable for the child to do. When the student's able to have a real effect on their behavior and their behavior is improving. It's not just their academics and their social skills that are improving, but it's improving their quality of life and the, just their happiness as a child. And the strategies that are provided with the academic supports uh, really complement each other and the, the students are having success. And it's, it's not just at school, but it's, it's at home and in their other environments as well. These interventions play an important part in ensuring all students reach their educational potential.